All right, so I've got this install Mac OS Big Sur beta bootable USB stick that I'm going to boot both an Intel Mac off of and a new M1 Apple Silicon Mac off of. Let's jump in. I'm going to do the M1 Apple Silicon Mac first and show you exactly how you need to do that. So I have it plugged into the M1 Mac now. So I'm going to power this Mac down fully, just shut it completely down. Once I have it completely down, I'm going to click and hold the power button until it says starting up with startup options. And you'll see that on the screen in a second here. All right, so I've got the Apple Silicon M1 MacBook Air here. I've got the USB drive plugged in to my nifty anchor adapter and how you boot into startup options, which is the recovery boot is hold down the power button. And you're going to see that it says continue holding for startup options, loading startup options. Now I can let go of it. You're gonna see install Mac OS Big Sur beta. Select that and hit continue. Boom, booted from that disk already. All right, so super, super easy on the M1 Apple Silicon Max. Let's do it to the Intel Mac that I have here and see what that looks like. So I am going to shut this down. So let's bring, oh, bring this one forward, plug in that device. Now we've got the USB stick plugged into the Intel Mac. And for the Intel Mac, we're actually going to need to modify some security because this is a T2 Mac. So that means that it's got the T2 security chip in it. It's a newer Mac. Anything that's like a MacBook Pro 2018 and newer is going to have T2 chip in it. And that's going to require us to modify that in order to boot from this external drive. We need to power this Mac on and hold down the Command R to boot into recovery partition. All right, so now that the recovery partition is loaded, we need to go up to Utilities, Startup, Security, Utility. You're gonna need to enter a password. And then you need to, it's gonna show that it's full security, you need to make sure it's at least medium security, and you need to check that allow booting from external or removable media is selected. So you need to make sure it looks just like mine, right? Once it looks just like mine, we can boot into the boot option menu and select it. So I'm gonna quit out of this, I'm gonna restart the Mac, and I'm gonna hold down the option key. So I'm going to restart it. 
I found that when I choose the startup disk, it doesn't always show up in the list of options. So that's why I'm not choosing it from there. I'm gonna restart, hold down option, Once the boot option menu is loaded, you select the drive, hit return, and your Mac is now booting into that USB stick that's connected to this Intel Mac. So what we're seeing right here, I want you to note this. A software update is required to use this startup disk. So let me just set up Wi-Fi real fast. All right, so now I've got Wi-Fi. Click try again. All right, so we've got the iBridge update so that we can boot off this USB stick, all right? So now I'm gonna reboot this Mac. I'm just gonna force it down and boot it up with the option key held down. I'm hitting that. We'll redo that. Step, now that we've got the iBridge update. All right, so now you see the install Mac OS Big Sur Beta USB drive. We hit return. And now that we've got the updated iBridge software, we can boot from that external drive, as you'll see here. All right, booted from that USB drive and you're all set. You can go and install Mac OS Big Sur Beta as you can see here. All right guys, go check out one of these other videos. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss anything. And you guys have an amazing day. Take care, I'll see you in the next video.